have seen some, some tragic cases. Parents aren't as up to speed and educated as the children are. Any place, any opportunity, you can be manipulated. It happens in public places like shopping centers and bus stops. Predators find unsuspecting young victims and lure these teens into the world of sex trafficking. Predators also troll social media, recruiting victims, young victims of all races who come from every socioeconomic background. Too often, parents think, well, that wouldn't happen to my child. But the human sex trafficking problem is real and growing. Prince William County Police Chief Stephen Hudson. In Prince William County, we've been fortunate that we've only had a handful of cases in the last several years. Um, but we have seen some, some tragic cases where particularly teenage girls are being victimized, sometimes by gangs, sometimes by older males who are taking advantage of their youth and their naivete. Uh, they're often coercive and sometimes threatening in their behavior. Uh, and kids are getting into dangerous situations. Sex trafficking is defined as a commercial sex act induced by force, fraud, or coercion, or in which the person induced to perform such act has not attained 18 years of age. Remember that a sex act with a minor is automatically a crime, even if the victim does not identify themselves as such or no force, fraud, or coercion is used. Still, traffickers entice their victims using manipulative tactics. I brought you into this world, and that's all you see around you false positives. I have created this atmosphere to put you in to where you see it all around you. So you don't see nothing wrong with it. You don't see nothing wrong with it. She's doing it, she's doing it, she's doing it. Pretty soon you're going to end up doing it. Now you are out of this category and you're in this category with the rest of them who know what they're doing. Because the ones who knew what they're doing start bringing you in, start bringing you in and she's gonna bring somebody else in. She's gonna bring somebody else in. And that's how the enterprise keep, keeps going. You know, they don't know, now they know, now they work. The problem can only be combated through awareness and education. Prince William County Schools is working to make sure our children don't fall victim to sex trafficking. Superintendent, Dr. Stephen Walls. Schools, along with community partners, are taking proactive steps to attack this issue in three ways. First, we are educating staff, parents, and students about the signs of trafficking. We are teaching students how to protect themselves and their friends through a pilot program in six high schools. Second, we're initiating a prevention campaign through a public service announcement and other media. Finally, we are seeking to provide and link identified students to comprehensive supports through our partnering agencies. We urge our parents and staff to actively discuss this issue with our youth. Your awareness and attention as a parent or caregiver can make the difference. There are many different ways a parent or caregiver can look for signs of human trafficking. If they have older boyfriends, when they never had a boyfriend to begin with, and all of a sudden they do have a boyfriend or an older boyfriend. Traffickers and recruiters go on social media acting as if they are another juvenile. You can look for expensive items. If you didn't purchase this item for your child and they don't have a job, question them. Ask them how they got this item. Keep in mind, it's a gradual manipulation. It takes time and they need to gain their trust. So if you see something long-term, or if your child goes from being a great student to failing in school or not showing up to school, don't hesitate to contact law enforcement. You could potentially be saving your child's life. If you get the sense something isn't right with your child, trust your intuition. Reach out if you suspect your child may be involved in trafficking. We are working closely with the police departments to assist victims and their families. School social workers have been trained on this initiative and are just a phone call away. Other organizations include Savis, which is staffed 24-7 to take calls and assist victims of sex trafficking. The National Center of Missing and Exploited Children is another 24-hour helpline. We are working to make sure our students are equipped to recognize manipulation and grooming tactics used by traffickers and to avoid situations that could force them into the world of sex trafficking. Knowledge is key and we need your help.